Hey YouTube, it's Ambic Zero with another video. So uh, today I got Photoshop CS5 and the first thing I wanted to see was content to where it fell. If you're a big Photoshop user, you've probably seen the CS5.org videos where Adobe presents uh, some of the features of Photoshop CS5 before it was released. So I just wanted to see like how great content aware fill was because in their video it was just way too good to be true. So I found out that in good conditions it is pretty good, but in other spots it's not as good as maybe they made it seem. So I just want to like point that out. So here's a tree in the stock photo I found on DeviantArt.com. I'm just going to quickly and roughly select it just like they say. Okay, obviously not the world's greatest selection. Right click, fill, content aware fill. And that was a pretty good selection. Now, I mean, we could just go in here and blur the edges a little bit and that would uh, fix that up and fix out the uh, grass here. When I tested this before, it actually came out a little better. But you can see it's not perfect, but it does do a pretty good job. Um, and another thing I did was the one where they replace the sky from the broken bits of the picture. So I'm just going to do is take my eraser tool, give it a hard edge, lump that up a little bit, and I'm just going to start erasing bits of this picture because I just want to see how well it handles this. Okay, so there's a few spots that are missing. So let's do the bottom section first. Grab all of that, and we get that selection. Right click, fill, content, aware, fill, press OK. Obviously not perfect there at all. Um, and in their video, they do like amazing stuff, but I have to think that maybe maybe it, it's not as great as they made it seem. Now, I mean, I'm saying it's pretty good for a quick fix and all that, but I don't think it's as perfect as they made it seem. For small things, like really small things, I found out that it does work pretty well. Like, that's not so bad. We could go in there and fix that. Now, the smaller the item is that you're replacing, the better it actually works. Uh, so, let me try this. Do this last section, I'll show you like a, a spot where it would work a little better. That, again, is something you could fix. But, you see this little leaf here that we got hanging down? Obviously, it gets rid of that pretty easily. Um, so, in the right condition, conditions, content aware fill is pretty good. But, um, it, I just believe that it might have been a little overhyped. I was, I was actually a little disappointed because when I saw their video, I was like, oh my god, they removed this huge tree out of the way, they replaced all this sky, they did all this, which, when I did the tree before, before I made this video, it actually came out a lot better, and I was really surprised. Um, so I guess it kind of depends every once in a while, but it's still good, just it could, it's shown as a little better. But uh, I still recommend Photoshop CS5, a lot of the features are great. Um, the painting is something that's really, really cool, especially if you have a tablet. Uh, I might show that in another video. Um, and that's all. I'll see you guys in the next video.